Hey family, what's up? So I know it's been a minute since I've done a video, but today I'm going to do something a little different. This is going to be, instead of the um, my usual uh, just regular plus size outfit of the day, this is still going to be a plus size outfit of the day, but this is going to be a crochet plus size outfit of the day. Yeah, I know, right? Anyway, um, and I want to give a huge shout out to C Watts 7412. If you don't know her, I'm going to put her link below um, in the description box for you so-called hookers. And um, if you crochet, then you know what I mean, because uh, she is part of the Fresh Off the Hook family. And um, if you're interested in being a part of the Fresh Off the Hook family, um, contact One Virtuous Woman, and she will give you all the details. Um, I'm not part of the Fresh Off the Hook family, but I love watching their videos. I've been a subscriber of, of uh, One Virtuous Woman forever, like since I've like been on YouTube, and um, she's amazing. Her and uh, TJW1963. I'm telling you guys, if y'all want to learn how to crochet and make some really cute, hip, trendy. Stuff, you guys need to check out their channels because they're amazing and um, I just absolutely love watching their videos. Um, but anyway, C. Watts 7412 is a part of the Fresh Off the Hook family and she um, she did a video probably about a week or two ago maybe. I honestly don't even remember what the video was about. All I seen was she had on this crochet shrug and I was like, OMG, ever since I have learned how to crochet and I've been crocheting things, I always wanted to learn how to make a shrug, but it wasn't like the other, sh like I've, I've seen tutorials on YouTube, but I didn't want like one of those wraparound shrugs or one that you just throw over your shoulders. I wanted something that was netted and something that I could put my arms through um, and that I could wear over just a tank top. And she had one of those on in her video and I was like, OMG, I love that. Um, I even commented on the video and I was like, I hope you do a tutorial. I love that shrug. It's super cute. Um, plus, she is a plus size diva, hey. And so I was like, okay, she has to do this, you know, has to do a tutorial. So bless her heart, um, this week she did, I believe it was this week. Might have been the end of last week. But anyway, she did the tutorial. Bless her heart. Love her to death. She did a tutorial, and you guys, it was so freaking easy. It's not even funny. Like, I really thought it was going to be really, really hard. Um, because even though I've been crocheting for a long time, I've probably been crocheting for two, three years now, I think, two years now. Um, I still feel like I'm very much a beginner because, like, if you asked me how to crochet something, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Like, seriously, I have to, I'm, I'm more of a visual person than anything and I have to watch somebody do something before I totally understand it. like I can't just read directions on how to do something or how to put something together I literally have to like see pictures or something anything visual or watch a movie about it or something in order to grasp you know the full effect so anyways um when I seen the video, I got psyched and I immediately started, you know, picked up my yarn and crochet hook and started. And um, before I knew it, like, well, it was like two days later. I just finished this yesterday. So um, it was like in no time. I had it finished and I was super excited about the outcome. I think I'm still going to add some more stuff onto it um, because the one that she did, she said you could add other more uh, stitches to make it longer. But I kind of liked the little short cropped look. You guys know the crop shirts that you can buy like in Dots and Simply Fashion now. They, they, they go just a little past like your breast, you know. That's it. And then you wear like a tank top underneath it. Well, that's what this reminds me of. Well, that's exactly what it is. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys, um, I guess, my outfit. I let you guys see what I made. You guys can let me know what you think. And if you are a crocheter and you want to learn how to make this shrug, then um, add C. Watts 7412. Um, subscribe to her channel and watch her videos because she does. I think she said that was her first tutorial. And I just want to tell her, like, I love her. And she did an amazing job on showing how to um, make the shrug because it was so simple and so easy to follow along. So, I really, really do appreciate it. And I know a lot of the other women that um, are making it as well appreciate it. So, mwah, thank you, CWAT7412. Um, again, I'm going to put her link below. So, 
if you are interested in crocheting, you know, watch her videos because she does some pretty cool videos. And she's super funny. So, yeah. So, here is the outfit. The rest of the outfit's pretty simple. It's just a white tank top underneath, and then it's my crochet shrug that I made, and then I just got on my boot cut. Um, they're like uh, capri jean capris. That's it. So, let me move so you can see. Okay. So, this is what it is. This is just my, you know, t-shirt or whatever. Hope you guys can see it. But this is what it looks like. It's really cute. And it's even got the sleeves. You guys know how, like, freaking, like, self-conscious I am about my fat arms. And I made my sleeves long enough. Um, so that's what that looks like. Let me point this up so I'm not. So, again, it just goes a little bit past the breast area. And then this is what the back looks like. So yeah, super cute, right? It's it's okay, not bad for you know my first shred. Like I said, I can also if I wanted to make it a little bit longer, I could to where it goes like right underneath the breast, and um, you can you know you could put an edging on it. You can do pretty much whatever you want. Um, the possibilities are endless with the shrugs. Like I said, you can <coughs> you can add edging. You can. Um, make it so it's more fitted at the bottom, like if you want it to kind of cinch in, um, you know, you could do stitching that way. There's a lot you can do. And then, of course, you guys know I couldn't do a shrug or any type of crochet anything. I can't just do one thing. I always have to make something that matches. So, I made these link earrings to match it, and they are gray and blue. Super cute, right? So yeah, I'm not finished with the other one yet. I'm still working on it. Um, I was just super excited that these turned out cute. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys really quick. So I hope you guys enjoy this crochet outfit of the day. And again, I'm going to put Sea Wax 7412. I hope it's 7412. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I'm going to put her link down below so you can check out her channel. And um, yeah, you guys can let me know what you think about the shrug or you know, if there's any um, crocheters out there, I would love to see if you've made any clothing. I would love to see what you've made. Um, so you can always do like a video response to this video if you choose to. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I've really been slacking on the videos and I apologize. You guys know I told you last time that my webcam is still acting up or was acting up. But I think it still might be. I'm not for sure. I guess we'll see after I record this video. <laughs> But, um, yeah, but I, I, there really is no excuse. I've just really been slacking. Um, plus, I've been working. So, after I get off work, I'm useless. I really am. I'm so useless. I come home, I eat, and I just plop my butt on the couch and watch YouTube videos. <laughs> YouTube videos and Facebook. That's all I do when I come home and make earrings. So, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think. Again, thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.